for the shit that they're talking. It might be for a completely different reason than why you may support something. You know what I'm saying? Um, We think it's something that's good for us. They may be doing something very bad to us and they know it. Hey, don't shoot the messenger. That's just how I feel. I anyway. I don't know. Like. When when you start shilling, when you start becoming a shill, you start promoting really fake ideologies, and we need to be careful doing that because I think they're very detrimental to our people. Um, the feminist movement now puts our women on the battlefield when it comes to war. Um, it makes their life more stressful now that they're in the work field. Um, and uh, hey, they say that they like that shit, but hey, I don't know anybody that likes to work, men or women. Like, we don't like to work. We like to chill. That's in our nature. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, when I level up, I'm going to have to work harder at some point. Um, I'm working as hard as I could right now, keeping my eyes open for opportunity. And yeah. So always keep your head up, eyes open. Because uh, something I learned in wrestling, you go where your head goes. Pause, all right? If you're looking down, you're going to go down. If you look up, you're going to go up, all right? So, yeah, that's that topic right there. Uh, so overall, do I think politics have has a place in music? Yeah, just be real and don't talk bullshit, all right? That goes perfect into this next topic. Don't. I, I'm tired of people speaking with kid gloves, like, or in a more, more uh, known term, I guess. This PC shit, like, stop being so politically correct. Like, you don't have to. You don't have to talk any certain kind of way for anybody, like. Especially when you're telling the truth. Like, I shouldn't have to worry about uh, misgendering somebody. Like, if you look like a he, I'm going to call you a he. If you look like a she, I'm going to call you a she. It's that simple. There is no they. Like, I feel mad weird calling somebody a they. That's mad weird. Or, like, you're, I don't know. I feel like that's mad dehumanizing. But they're telling me I'm dehumanizing them by not addressing them by what their biology was. I mean... The, the or or even their appearance I like I'll even give them their appearance cuz like transsexuals some of them still have their male parts like I'm not like just because like how would I even be able to be like say say there was a woman like a like a perfectly like looking woman but she just happened to have a you know a penis I would still call that person a woman if I just saw them off rip because like, I don't know they're a transsexual like, how would I even know that? I'm not going to ask nobody to lift up their skirt or pull down their pants for me. So, like, if I just see your appearance, whatever you're, whatever you look like, that's how you're pretty much going to be addressed. And whether or not you think that's right, that's just how it is. That's why we have external features to separate ourselves from our, uh, our partners, our, our, uh, I can't think of the word. Um, damn. To our complementary species, all right? To our complement gender. That's how we distinct each other from external features, whether it's a beard, um, muscles. Uh, for women, they have breasts or they have curves, you know? Th th it's those kinds of features or certain things that I can't explain. Sometimes it's just the kind of vibe, you know? Uh, and even when when even when we get down to gay men, they're not like I don't mistake gay men for women because they like men. It's their external features. I can see that you're a man. I'm gonna address you as a man. Same thing with lesbians. If you know, if you're, I could. I think I went deep deep into deep enough into what I'm trying to say. Um, so when when we're, when we're speaking truth. We, we shouldn't really hold back because that causes a whole other set of issues and a whole other set of delusions. Um, 
for all intents and purposes, transsexualism. I know that I'm getting really deep into the transsexualism thing right now, but um, the transsexual transsexuality was viewed as a mental illness, and I honestly think it still should be viewed that way because it, you're obviously going counteract counteractive to what your biology says. Um, it, you're living in a delusion. You're like you're clearly what you were born as, and you're going against it. And we're letting those people dictate our culture, our speech, and how we communicate with each other on a day-to-day basis. I don't think that's fair. You know what I'm saying? Um, It's only a small, small set of people that really, very small set, like almost decimal point, like set of people that really live those experiences. And I feel like a lot of other people, especially within the last five six years i would say a lot of people started identifying as queer generally like gay lesbian whatever they just started identifying as queer i think just because it was cool or more acceptable like how do i say this all these people that thought about being bisexual oh or excuse me all these people that identify as bisexual now i feel like would have never been bisexual if we never really made it okay to or made it popular to sleep around with any and everybody so for example like a hundred years ago if you were gay like you were just gay like that's just what it was it wasn't cool if anything it was looked down upon so if you were gay it was dead ass because you were gay you weren't just being gay to experiment you weren't being bisexual to experiment, like, so that was dead ass how you, however, however you turned out, like, however it works, that's just how you turned out, but now that because it's pop- popular, people are out now out there experimenting and now becoming or identifying as gay or bisexual or, or, or what have you, and that may have never been the case to begin with, but because we made certain things popular, now everybody wants to try is that okay? Is that fair? No. So even if that number raised even a little bit, we're letting those people determine how many people get on board with that, those certain life choices and lifestyles. Once again, I don't look down on people that are of that lifestyle, but I do look down on people that coerce and groom people into lifestyles that they had no business being in to begin with. I'll leave it at that. I said what I said. Um, Sensitivity is relative, all right? So I'm not saying that you need to be barking and screaming at everybody when you're trying to get a point across. But as far as holding back the truth for the sake of protecting somebody's feelings, that's when we're taking it too far. Um, For example... Now I'm going to use my people as an example. Uh, we tried to tell them that Trump actually did help black people um, and that Biden, generally speaking, is not going to be our best candidate and we, we shouldn't be voting for this guy. No matter how, how many examples you could show of Biden being racist, Kamala not really even being black, uh, them as a pair just being dumb as rocks. Um, me, personally speaking, I, I try to show how American politics never really helped black people ever. So, or if they did, it, I mean, it is like very small. Like it doesn't, it doesn't have really that much of an impact on our community because we're still not kings or, or living how we want to live. So, um, you know, I try to show that we shouldn't really be relying on politics anyway. So, no matter how many times I explain that to my people. I'm going to be met with some form of contention or disagreement. So I need to, what I mean by sensitivity is relative. I need to find a way to talk to each and every individual, talk to each and every individual in a way that they can take in what I'm saying. Some people need it very harsh and they need to hear the reality because that's the only way they can understand it. Some people need to be built up. And given a little bit at a time, because when they're given too much, they, they just block out anything that you're saying, you know? Um, 
So that's what I mean by sensitivity is relative. Now, when you beat around the bush too much with everybody, I feel like you'll never be able to deliver the message at all. Whereas when you go individual to individual and you are able to gauge how you talk to each person, not saying that you'll be able to change everybody's mind, but that'll be way more effective. Um, that's why on my platform, I'm just being 100 uh, See, that's why, my, that's why on my platform, I'm being 100% myself and giving you my takes, my thoughts, because I know that how I speak is going to get to some people. Not everybody, but some people will hear my thoughts, agree, disagree. I might change people's minds. Some people might change my mind down in the comments. Um, when we speak with kid gloves and we beat around the bush, we basically, we basically are giving up when it comes to spreading the truth. Um, so honestly, all the nonsense that's going on right now, I can't really blame anybody for it because we sat back too long letting people talk shit and say any and everything um this black lives matter movement um even though in the recent years well in the in this past year even though it was heavily based on the death of george floyd and brianna taylor i mean it was nothing to really tear up the streets of tear up the streets about because we have a lot of our own issues that we have to address. And that was the harsh reality. We needed to... How do I even say this? Like, instead of marching on the streets, we needed to be more worried about how we could prevent another situation happening like that. Sure, the um, assailant was arrested. Uh, Derek Chavon, he was arrested for what he'd done. That was a success. Um... But now what? There was no real, at least not that I know of, there was no real police reform after that. Um, because we all knew that it was an unfair action. Nobody's really arguing about what happened. Um, and once again, I think it's staged anyway. So I definitely think he was killed and murdered. So, um... Brianna, Brianna Taylor, I, I, I don't. She was shot in her bed. Once again, that's another thing. Why are we marching up and down the street, tearing down shops over her? We know that that that, that was wrong, but the harsh reality is that happens to our people, and we need to do everything we could to stay out of those situations. Brianna Taylor, rest her soul. She, the person she was dealing with, I low key blame that person for the situation she got in. Um, those people shouldn't have shot her to death, obviously. But the person that she was with got her in that situation, given the lifestyle that that person was living. So, once again, we need to make better decisions on who we choose to be with as partners. We need to make de better decisions on what we choose to do to bring money into our community, uh, etc., etc. How we raise our children, how we treat each other. It, it's it's a whole lot and that's the harsh truth so with this pc culture we basically we we let everybody be okay or we let everybody be comfortable with their inability to grow past themselves every day i'm working to grow past myself and if i was subscribing to pc culture Anything of the sort, I'd be okay with where I am in my position, and I'm not. I'm not going to settle with where I'm at. Like, I, yo, this PC shit is going to have y'all fucked up because they're going to be saying, it's okay. Don't talk about minorities like that. Don't say that um, they kill each other because they don't know how to get their shit together. Like, come on, guys, but that's the truth. Like, they, they make up so many excuses for our people, and they, they, they treat us like we're children, and that's disrespectful. That's PC culture. That's why it's called kid gloves. They're treating us like we're kids. That's fucking racist. And y'all want to talk about racism, you know?